My first step when nail stamping is to get all of my needed supplies. That can include my polish that I'll need, a stamper of course, the scraper, a cleanup brush, and any other cleanup supplies including acetone, paper towels, a lint roller, maybe some tape, and a stamping plate, or more if I need it. Step two is to peel off the blue film if you haven't already. This is specifically two stamping plates that have not been used, of course. Step three is to paint your base color that you're going to have beneath the stamp. You also wanna make sure that you add a top coat if you haven't done so already. Step four is to cover at least half of the design with your polish. Preferably, it should be stamping polish, but you can also use opaque polish. Step five is to lightly scrape the design. You could have to do it once or twice. It does take a little bit of practice, but you can always check the stamp before you put it on your nail to make sure that you scraped enough off. It's better to notice if the design didn't transfer very well onto your stamper before you put it on your nail versus after because you can always redo it and put it on your nail. It's much more difficult after you put it on the nail to fix it. Step six is to lightly press the stamper down onto a stamping plate. Step seven is to line the stamper up very carefully with the nail. The strategy is different depending on the stamper you're using. So if it is a see-through stamper, it's a lot easier to center it onto the nail. If it's not a clear stamper, then you're going to have to look at it from a different angle and then watch it as you roll it onto your nail. Step eight is to lightly roll or press the stamper down, and it kind of depends again on your stamper. So if you have a clear, flexible stamper, you can get away with just pressing it really lightly onto your nail and then just lightly rolling it side to side. But if you have a non-clear stamper, then you're going to have to probably more likely roll it on because you need to watch exactly where it's going. Step nine is to clean the plate and repeat on every nail that you are planning on stamping. Step 10 is to clean up the edges. I oftentimes just use 100% acetone with a cleanup brush. However, I have recently learned about using tape around the edges. And in a previous video, I did talk about how I think that the cleanup brush is more precise and easier to use versus the tape, which is more tedious and not as precise. I will say though that if you have a lot of stamping polish that's not on the nail and that you need to clean up, it might be useful to first go in with the tape to get all of the excess nail polish. And then once you have a lot of it off, then you can use the cleanup brush for all the little stuff that you have left over. The only reason that that benefits you, especially is if it's like a dark polish or if you don't want to use a lot of acetone on your skin and dry it up. So, it, you know, in some ways the tape can be useful, but I still think it's kind of annoying. Step 11 is to apply a top coat very lightly. Avoid doing too many brush strokes or hard brush strokes because it can smear the design. Once you're done with step 11, you're done with your nail stamping and you have a completed nail stamping look. I hope this was helpful and that's what Kay says.